Hello students, I am Chirayu Bhatt again with a new economic concept. Today I am going to teach you law of diminishing marginal utility. It is one of my favorite uh, laws and I like to teach it so much. So I am going to teach this particular law to you by the from the bottom of my heart because this is my personal favorite. Yeah. So before I actually explain law of diminishing marginal utility or DMU to you, you first need to know what a utility is. So utility basically means it is the capacity of a commodity through which human wants are satisfied. I repeat the definition of utility. Utility is the capacity of a commodity through which human wants are satisfied. If I am wearing this watch at this moment, it is giving me some utility. Utility has the capacity is the capacity through which our human wants are satisfied. If I am wearing this shirt at this moment, that means it is giving me some utility. When you are uh, thirsty and somebody gives you a glass of water, that particular glass of water is giving you some utility. So utility basically means uh, anything that satisfies uh, human wants. You know, it can be obtained from anything that satisfied satisfies human wants. Utility does not mean happiness. And utility does not mean uh, joy or anything, you know. A painkiller might give you utility as well, although it does not give you happiness, yeah. So any product, commodity, goods or service that gives you, uh, that satisfies your human wants has got some utility in it. So once you got the picture clear as far as utility is concerned, let's try to understand what law of diminishing marginal utility is in economics in short form it is called dmu diminishing marginal utility law of dmu it was given by professor alfred marshall i hope i am pronouncing it correctly it was given by professor alfred marshall and the definition goes on like this during the course of consumption as more and more units of a commodity are used Every successive unit gives utility with a diminishing rate, yeah? provided other things remain same, although total utility increases. This is the definition. Let me give you a practical example. Yeah? You are living in a studio apartment. You are outside of your house for six hours. During the course of those six hours, you have not eaten anything. You have not drunk anything so literally you are hungry as well as thirsty you come back to your house after six hours you open the door you reach inside you go to the you go nearer to the refrigerator you open the door of the refrigerator and you find out there is a bottle of milk in the fridge nothing else left so since you are very thirsty and very hungry you will take out that chilled or cold milk from the refrigerator you will put it on the kitchen and you will uh, pour some milk in the glass for yourself and you will start drinking that glass of milk, cold milk. The first glass of milk will give you utility, a lot of utility, yeah? Because remember, you have not eaten or drunk anything for the last six hours. So the first glass of milk is going to give you a lot of utilities. So try to understand that example from this uh, chart here. Unit of consumption, first glass of milk. This is your first glass of milk uh, after you came home after six hours, yeah? And the first uh, glass of milk will give you marginal utility of 20. So the total utility will be 20. Same situation is going on. You pour, once you, you have consumed the first glass of milk, you pour yourself the second glass of chilled uh, milk and that second glass of milk is going to give you 15 units. The third glass of milk will give you 10 units because remember, slowly and gradually, your stomach is going to be filled up and you are not getting as much utility from the third and second glass that you got from the first glass. The fourth one will give you only five utility. The fifth one will give you no utility at all. This is the saturation point. This is the point where you think I have had enough of that, that commodity now. I have had enough of that glass of milk now. I can't drink any more glass of milk. Then 
when you are trying to get yourself the sixth glass of milk, the marginal utility will fall to the minus. It goes in the minus, minus 5. Remember, the total utility keeps on increasing. It was 20, then since you got 15 from the second unit, the total utility became 35. It became 45 in the third one. It became 50 in the fourth one. In the fifth one, it stayed down to 50. And in the sixth one, it got reduced to 45. The total utility is increasing up to certain point, but marginal utility is falling. See, 20 to 15 to 10 to 5 to 0 and eventually minus 5. So that means there is a reduction, constant reduction happening in the marginal utility. This is what your law of diminishing marginal utility is. Let's try to evaluate this from the uh, diagram here. On the vertical line you have marginal utility, on the horizontal line you have units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I haven't done 6 here because it goes beneath underneath. On the vertical line you have 5, 10, 15, 20. So when you consume the first glass of milk, when you had first glass of cold milk, it gave you 20 units of marginal utility. When you had second glass of cold milk, it gave you 15 units of marginal utility. When you had third glass of milk, the marginal utility you got was 10. When you had fourth glass of milk, you got 5 marginal utility. When you had fifth glass of milk, it was 0 and ultimately at the sixth unit it was in minus. So you will have uh, a curve like a demand curve. This is more or less like a demand curve. So this is what uh, you will get when you when you put that figure into the into the diagram. Now, two very important points that you need to keep into your mind, and that is saturation point and disutility. What is saturation point? I explained to you when marginal utility becomes zero, you have had enough of that particular good service or uh, product, it becomes zero. That is the point saturation point. Yeah, when you cannot have any more units. What is this utility when the marginal utility term turns out to be minus that is your this utility you are not getting anything from that product anymore yeah you are you are not getting anything from that product on top of that you feel as if something is going away from you yeah remember the minus sign you feel as if you don't want to have that product anymore on top of that you are feeling like you are paying something you are not consuming you are paying something uh, additionally so that particular point is this utility so two important points saturation point when marginal utility becomes zero this utility when marginal utility becomes minus assumptions that has to be there if you want your law of diminishing marginal utility to work out for you first assumption is quality of goods or service should be unchanged yeah there cannot be any change in the quality of goods or service. It has to be changed. It, it has to be, beg your pardon, it has to be same uh, during the course of this exercise. Same example, glass of cold milk. When you had first glass of cold milk, it gave you 20 units of marginal utility. When you had second uh, glass of cold milk, you had 15 uh, marginal utility. Guess what? What happens if in the third uh, exercise here rather than having third glass of milk you make yourself a vanilla milkshake out of that milk remember you have some uh, sugar and some vanilla syrup in the in the refrigerator as well as most people have then you might make yourself a vanilla milkshake out of that milk yeah so that particular milkshake at the third point will is 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 likely to give you more utility than actual glass of milk give to you yeah so why did that happen? Why did you got more marginal utility at the third juncture here? Because the quality of the goods has changed now. Fourth one, uh, sorry, beg your pardon. Consumption of goods should be continuous. The whole law of diminishing marginal utility will be altered if this is not continuous and constant. Yeah, if you, if you consume two units, then wait for another one hour or two hours and then consume the third glass of milk, then it is very likely that you might get uh, 20 units of marginal utility at the third glass as well. Why? Because you had two hours interval in between. That should not happen. This exercise or this process has to go on continuously. Then consumers mental outlook should not change. 
what do i mean by that suppose for example you consumed two glass of cold milk then suddenly uh, your mobile phone rings and your your girlfriend or your uncle uh, is giving you a call and he tells you or she tells you that what are you doing and you tell her or him that i am consuming a glass of or i am having a glass of cold milk and the the guy at the other end or the lady or girl at the other end tells you that oh you are drinking glass of cold milk milk is very good for the health uh, for the health you know go on drink as much milk as possible and uh, that guy or that lady or that girlfriend points out so many benefits of consuming a glass of milk so suddenly you realize that oh milk is uh, such a useful commodity why not why not uh, why not have more milk so remember your mental outlook has changed now before you were consuming milk because you were thirsty and hungry and you were you had literally no food or nothing to eat and drink for the 6 hours so that particular outlook was different this particular outlook is different now somebody has pointed out the benefits of uh, drinking more and more milk to you so you want to drink more and more milk now yeah so your mental outlook is different now that scenario was different this scenario is different so it is very likely that this particular uh, at that this particular juncture you might get more marginal utility than you previously got in the second juncture or the first first juncture yeah the fourth one is units of goods should be shouldn't be few or less remember the same scenario yeah glass of cold milk you were out of the house for 6 hours you open the door reach the refrigerator and open the uh, door of the refrigerator and you find out that there are only two glass of milk in the bottle in the bottle it can there can be only two glasses of uh, milk so what happens when you know that i can only have two glass of milk because there is no more milk then it is very likely that both the glass of milk will give you equal amount of marginal utility or it is very possible that you might get more marginal utility from the second unit than you actually uh, get from the first unit because you know that this is going to be my last glass i'm not going to have any more food or drink uh, after i consume that so this is your law of diminishing marginal utility i hope i explained it to you from the bottom of my heart thanks for watching my video as mentioned to you so many times earlier you can follow me on facebook instagram twitter and linkedin Keep watching me, I will be uploading some more videos on economics and marketing. Thank you very much.